Okay, good morning, Flight Sim Addicts. I wanted to do a quick video on uh, DCS Beta when it gets updated and it breaks because mine's recently broke. And it's real simple to fix. All you have to do is basically revert back to the previous version and continue to fly and have fun with your DCS products. I see a lot of people flame the uh, developer when their beta product breaks. Well, it's a beta. So it's probably going to break, but it's real easy to fix. So let me do this quick video and uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment if you like the video. If you don't like the video, like, subscribe, and comment anyway. Here we go. Okay, so this is what I do when I get a update that breaks my DCS beta version of the game. I, uh, if you go to uh, forums at uh, .eagle.ru, do a search for, basically just go to the ed forum, do a search for uh, DCS updater or DCS revision or revise in one of those and what I did was just follow the instructions here you're gonna need you're gonna use a command prompt you're gonna find out where your uh, DCS install is if you copy and paste it into that command prompt and this is gonna walk you through it the website will and then if you scroll scroll down or scroll down on the website and I didn't do it here but if you scroll down it'll tell you the most recent and latest version and you just copy and paste that into here and run it and then it'll go and download the latest update and uh, you revert back to the previous version once it's done but I just copied and paste this this whole line from my uh, installation folder and then I got the latest version from this website on on down scroll on down I didn't do it here but I just copied and pasted that in here too and then I ran it and that's when you get uh, the latest update so I mean it takes a while because you got to download the older version and you got to install it so it was about a good couple hours to do this but you know I was dead in the water because my DCS broke it stopped working with the uh, the latest version or the latest update which I believe was what was the number on it I don't know it came out on June 7th so whatever that was 2.5.5.31917 that's all technical gobbledygook but yeah so you know instead of going on uh, these Facebook posts and flaming people or flaming the developer over a beta product I mean sure you don't want your game broke but you know I've been doing project management for software development for I don't know, about four or five years and just about every time they do an update the shit breaks <laughs> something breaks something changes so it's the nature of the beast you gotta roll with it or you can just go to the stable version and you, you won't get the latest update but at least you have a stable product if the uh, constant break fix scenario doesn't work for you so then to come back here after I download this and upload in a couple hours and we'll see if this actually works to uh, fix my problem so we'll be right back okay so when you finish downloading and install it's gonna try to install 
the most latest update and you want to hit cancel because you really don't want to go back and reinstall what was just broken <laughs> you know and uh ordinarily i can live with you know some things not working but this uh latest update on june 7th completely hosed my computer like i couldn't uh control all delete i couldn't do anything it was just it would get to terrain loading and just lock up at one of 60 which is something i've seen on a lot of the uh forums and and, and uh facebook posts where people's game broke with that update and you know it happens so you always want to be able to go back and get your uh get the updater or the 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 older version keep the older version handy so you can come back in and do this and just revert back it's a pain in the butt because you know that's two hours of playing time that most of us already don't have that you got to spend trying to fix and uh fix an update and uh, also, if you don't have your install on a SSD solid state drive, these are the kind of load times you're going to get. My load times are anywhere from 6 to 10 minutes. You can time this if you want to because I just clicked on it. And I'm going to let it run the entire time as it's trying to load as we're checking out to make sure that this... this uh, revert back to older version works I already know it worked because I already tested it of course but for this video uh, you can see that it's, it's not that hard to do you just gotta know a little bit about command prompt you really have to know a little bit about command prompt and using it because this kinda that website will walk you through it you know once you get to the uh, updating and reverting DCS world you can do a search for that on the uh, forums and it's going to pull that up information up and you just follow the instructions uh, but again it, it does I know it sucks it's irritating but you know it's, it's like a lot of people say it's a beta version man beta is beta <laughs> it's, you know Especially when you're talking about software, I mean, you can code something to fix one thing and it'll just break everything else. I mean, I don't think these guys are that bad, but, you know, what can I say? Shit happens. So my load times are, are just absolutely horrendous. Uh, just being on a regular C drive or a regular hard drive. So I definitely need to put this bad boy on a solid state drive I just don't want to go through the problem of having to do all this over man because like I say your flying time is very limited it, you know it takes a long time just to learn how to fly this thing and then you I got these ridiculous load times and I, if I want to re install and reconfigure to have everything on a solid state drive I got to take time to do that and really I just want to fly fly like an eagle that's all I want to do so but these load times it's about for me I'm telling you six to ten minutes load time you know but what it was doing was it would get to this point here or roughly this point what would, it would load the terrain it'd get to one out of 60 and it would just lock up everything I mean you know I could go to like a windows or, or sh scroll to uh, or switch to uh, task manager but task manager would lock up I couldn't highlight anything I let it sit for like an hour like maybe it was just trying to you know catch up no it was it was locked up tight so but again I know all you have to do is revert back to the previous version again it's a pain in the ass but 
if you can't fly you at all you can't deal with the the latest update to the beta version really want to emphasize it's a beta version because <laughs> you know beta software is just that it's beta beta will see you later and will check out on your ass before you know it but uh you know at least they 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 are pretty good at fixing their their stuff i used to be a a real hater of DCS products when A10 first came out because I would get that same area one of 60 and I mean it would just lock up and I just did have no patience for trying to figure it out and uh you know it is what it is because it was a beta version just want to emphasize I don't know if I said that but beta will lock up and boom there you go I fixed my problem. I'm running on the older version. I no longer have the Sonic Boom or whatever the latest weapon was update prior to June uh, 7th, but that's okay. Now, the next version, you know, I consider uh, I consider updating it. You know, it's kind of your choice, man. You want to you want to go with a stable version, you want to update every time a new uh, version comes out it's on you me the only reason I updated that uh, last version on June 7th was I, I wanted to see what that sonic boom would do and uh, it actually worked a, a couple of days and then something happened and it just it locked up but there you go instead of uh, going online and flaming uh, the developers I mean you can still do that if you want to but you still ain't gonna get your game fixed so this is one way to get it fixed download the update or revert back to a previous version using the command prompts and uh, just keep checking six getting your air time get that seat time hey like subscribe comment on the video if you like the video if you don't like the video like subscribe and comment anyway please and we out time to go fly